Hi all, in this video we are going to see about the classification of nerve fibers. So this has been asked multiple times in the university questions like an answer briefly question. So we will see what is the classification. So there are many ways to classify the nerve fiber of which one is a functional that is based on what function that nerve fiber does. It can be classified into motor, sensory or secretor motor. Based on whether it is myelinated you can divide into myelinated or unmyelinated. And then we've got two important classifications. One is the Erlanger and Glasser, Gasser classification in which they classified the nerve fiber based on the diameter as well as the speed of conduction, that is conduction velocity. Another classification was the numerical classification which was based on the origin and function. So in this video, we're going to see about these two, Erlanger Gasser as well as the numerical classification. So as said earlier, they classified the fiber based on the diameter and the conduction velocity. So they classified them into basically A, B, C of which A was further divided into A alpha, A beta, A gamma, A delta. Then we've got a class B and then we've got C. Again, we've got the dorsal root as well as the sympathetic fibers. So if you're going to diagrammatically represent, this might be the A fiber. You can see the diameter is more. For the A fiber then we've got the class B and finally C which is unmyelinated so even though that even though they classified based on diameter and all the function of these nerve fibers are also quite different so for example suppose this is the uh, spinal cord and this is the dorsal root ganglion we know that sensations like pain it is usually carried out by the C fibers, the slow pain is carried by the C fiber, that is this unmyelinated one. We also have another fiber that is A delta which carries a fast pain. Similarly, for sensations like touch and all, we have the A beta fibers and A alpha fibers that communicate it to the spinal cord. So that is why I said even though it is based on diameter, the function is also different. So now we will see the basic diameter and the conduction velocity. For A alpha, as I said, is the thickest one. So the diameter is around 12 to 20. A beta will be around 5 to 12. A gamma 3 to 6. A delta 2 to 5. And you can see that there is a decreasing trend of the fiber diameter. And the minimum is for the C fibers. Whereas, uh, you can see that in the conduction velocity also the maximum is for A alpha. It keeps on decreasing. And obviously it will be less in C fibers because it is not myelinated it is only when there is myelination that the conduction velocity can increase so naturally in C fibers the conduction velocity is also very less and what are the functions of these fibers as I said A alpha is for proprioception and it helps in the somatic motor uh, transmission A beta for touch and pressure so that is why in the diagram I showed that A alpha and A beta is usually for touch and pressure and uh, that is the main function, one, one of the important function of the A alpha and A beta fibers. Then we've got A uh, gamma which is motor to the muscle spindles. A delta as I said before pain and temperature. B is usually the in the autonomic nervous system the preganglionic nerve fibers are usually B fibers. And then we have the C nerve fibers which is for pain and temperature again which I had shown before. The C is for slow pain whereas A delta is for fast pain. And the, finally the C sympathetic in autonomic system post ganglionic fibers are also C fibers. Okay, So that is the basic function. It will be easier if you remember the pathway. A alpha and A beta for touch proprioception. A delta for pain and also C for pain. And then we have two autonomic fibers. Only difference is this A gamma which is motor to muscle spindles. So another important applied aspect is it's the susceptibility of these nerve fibers to hypoxia pressure and anesthetics which do you think will be most susceptible to hypoxia it is actually b muscle fiber the b fibers are most uh, susceptible whereas the c fibers are least susceptible to hypoxia what about pressure the larger fibers will be affected first so a is more affected to pressure than c what about anesthetics just the opposite the c will be most affected by the anesthetics so for pressure the largest fiber will be affected for anesthetics small unmyelinated fibers will be affected only difference in that pattern is in hypoxia where b muscle fiber b fibers will be affected 
So, so what is this numerical classification? So in numerical classification, the scientists just classified the sensory fibers. That means the fibers that are responsible for pain, temperature, touch, proprioception. They just took those nerve fibers and then classified it. So you can see that uh, we'll have the Erlanger-Gasser classification also can be applied to this numerical classification because in Erlanger-Gasser classification both sensory and motor were considered but in numerical classification only sensory fibers are considered. So they are roughly divided into uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 of which 1 was again divided into 1A and 1B. 1A is the nerve fiber originating from the anterospiral ending of the muscle spindle and B is for Golgi tendon organ which actually detects the stretch of the muscle. 2 is for muscle spindle, 5 is for spray ending of the muscle spindle as well as touch and pressure. 3 is for pain and cold receptors and some touch receptors as well as 4 is for pain, temperature and other receptors. So these of, of which 1A is actually analogous to our A alpha fibers 1A and 1B is basically our A alpha. 2 is A beta. You can see that there is no A gamma here because we are classifying only the sensory, the numerical classification. Then A delta pain. You can see that B is not here because B was that preganglionic autonomic uh, nerve fibers. Here also C uh, postganglionic fibers are not there but the C pain fibers are classified in the numerical classification. So thus we have got two classifications, Erlanger gasser as well as numerical classification. So I hope this was clear. Thank you.